In this video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called symmetric tree. So given a binary tree, so check whether it's a mirror of itself. So symmetric around its center. So for example, this binary tree, we have something like this. And then we want to see if it's symmetric. To see if it's symmetric, what we're going to do is we're going to put a line between here. You can see that this is symmetric. Um, you can see that uh, all these values are basically um, mirror of each other, right? So in this case, they're all symmetric. Then in this case, we're just going to return true, right? Because we're returning a Boolean. So if we have a situation like this, you can see that this is not symmetric. And if I draw a line here, you can see that this is not, uh, if this is not the reflection of this, right? So in this case, we can just return false. So to solve this problem, I think one thing that, that we can clarify when we, if we were to give this question an interview is that if null is symmetric, if it is, in this case it is, um, so null is symmetric, but there could be also a situation where there's only one node in the tree, and that's also symmetric as well. So now we know the base case, let's talk about how can we solve this problem? How can we know if this tree is symmetric? Well, let's say we have given a thing like this. Okay, how do we know if this is symmetric? Well, what we can do is we can compare its children to see if they are equal value, right? Because we know that this is symmetric. If we were to only giving, if we were only given one node, then then this one node is symmetric. But we don't have to compare the the parent node because there's nothing, no one to compare to, right? So in this case, this is symmetric, but what we have to do is we just have to compare the children node, ch child node, the left child and the right child, see if they are equal value. In this case, they're equal value, then, then um, this is symmetric, right? And if we were to given something like this, one, two, and zero, for example, this is not symmetric because those two values are not the same. So that's one example the other example will be something like this where okay so we have these two the uh, level one and level two they're symmetric but what about level three so how can we know this is symmetric well, what we can do is we can compare the left child so the roots left child's left child with roots right child's right child so in this case we're comparing to see if those two are equal to each other. And then we compare to see if the left child dot right child with the right child dot left child to see if they're equal to each other. If they're not equal to each other, then we can just uh, return false, right? So let me show you this in code. So our, uh, we're gonna do this thing recursively. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, okay, if root is null, then right away we can just return true, right? And what's going to happen is we're going to create another method called is symmetric, and this method will uh, basically um, takes in two nodes. So we're going to compare the left node dot left and then root dot right node to see if they are symmetric. So we're going to create this private method. So is a boolean uh, is symmetric. And then takes a tree node left and right. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do if so if those two nodes are null, because we don't know if it's null, right? So in this case, if the the left is null and the right is null, then what we're gonna do is we're going to return true. Okay, if it's null, then they're symmetric. So and there could also be a situation where the left does not equal null and the right does not equal null as well. So if that's the case, then what we're going to do is we're going to compare value. First, we're going to compare its value. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, if left dot value is equal to uh, right, so right dot value. So if if those two are true, then we can just return true, right? And what we're also gonna do is we're also gonna see if the, um, just like I mentioned, if we were to compare um, its 
subtree to see if there are symmetric, what we're going to do is we're going to also see if the left dot left is equal to right dot right. And we're also going to check to see if left dot left, uh, sorry, left dot right is equal to right dot left. Okay, and we're going to use this symmetric method to check to see if they are their sub their subtrees are, are symmetric as well. So in this case, uh, left dot left and right dot right, and we also have to check to see if um, if the left dot right and the right dot left are symmetric as well. So this will give us either a true or false. Okay, so if one of the statements false, it will give us false, right? So in this case, if nothing works, then we're just going to return false. Because there could be a situation where left does not equal null and the right is null, right? Or there could be a situation where right does not equal to null, but the left is equal to null. So in this case, we can just return false. So let's try to run the code. And you can see we can have our success. Yeah, so we have our success. So this is how we complete the problem using um, recursion. Um, basically, the time complexity is pretty obvious. We're traversing the entire tree. So this time complexity will be big O of n. Um, the space complexity, though, is also going to be big O of n. But to be more exact, it's actually going to be the, big, um, the height of the tree, right? So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.